Treasury on the 23rd of August 1839 to hold an open competition to design the prepaying of postage and security measures to prevent forgery and the fraudulent reuse of these postage items. There were 2,600 entries into the competition, although hardly any of them were of stamps. Let's take a look at some of the entries. This image is of a stamp-like entry on gum paper with a picture of Britannia, which was later used for the Mulready. It is unknown who submitted it. This is designed to be fixed to a letter with sealing wax, hence the hole, and is similar in design to one in the Royal Philatelic Collection, although we do not know who submitted this one. This unknown design is meant to have a unique serial number on each stamp to identify it. This is the most famous of all Treasury Essays. It is by James Chalmers. For more information on him, please see our Chalmers Essays YouTube video. This design is by Williams. It is on security paper and is a mint example. The larger image below is showing what it would look like on a cover. This image is of the entry sent in by Van Summers. As you can see, it has the numbers 19962 forward slash 39 on the back. This is a combination of the Treasury registration number 19962 and the 39 representing the year 1839. This design is by Robert Sleever, and with it he included instructions on how to avoid fraud. All of the images we have seen so far are stamp type entries into the competition, but this one is a James Wilde letter sheet. He was a geographer to the Queen, and this design is much more along the lines of a Mulready. There were four eventual winners of the Treasury competition, Henry Cole, Charles Whiting, Benjamin Sheverton and joint winners Francis Coffin and James Bogardus. Here is an entry that was attributed to James Bogardus. This is the very minute and delicate entry by Benjamin Sheverton. One of the Treasury winners, Charles Whiting, did a huge selection of entries for the competition. Here are some of those entries. As a result of the Treasury competition, Roland Hill used elements from many of the designs to create the famous Penny Black. As always, all of the images that you have seen in this video have been handled by Mark Bloxham Stamps Limited. If you have any questions or you would like to know more about Treasury Essays, please do not hesitate to contact us at the email address below. Thank you.